Hi everyone, welcome to another HubSpot how-to video by Endure. Today I'm going to show you how to publish a social media um, content piece you'd like to get um, viewed and shared and everything like that. So this one will be really really quick, should only be about a three minute video, but I do want to show you and I really love this feature about HubSpot. Other marketing automation platforms do not have this feature so um, give kudos to HubSpot on that. If I want to compose a message, so this is how you start it off. Come over here, well, let me back up a little. So I come over to our marketing, come to social, and I come to publishing. It'll bring me right to this page. If I wanted to look at the inbox, or if I wanted to look at monitoring, reports, I could do all that. And we'll get into some of that a little bit later. But I want to compose a message. Um, I'm actually not going to post these for real, uh, just because that would be a little strange to post what I'm about to type. Um, but you can see some live examples that we have going on down here. So let's say that I wanted my article to be the craziest Martech stack we've ever seen. And then let's say I have a related URL to that, just for this purpose, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna type in our company URL just so you can get an idea of how it renders. It'll actually populate an image. We can select that image to attach or a different image we find more appropriate, and we can attach that. Now, it's really important that you don't click the schedule button until you're absolutely sure that you're ready. Um, one thing that HubSpot does really, really well is it kind of populates what you have in one platform and all the others, and that you can make specific uh, adjustments and tweaks to them on the fly. You can also select a campaign that you want it associated with. So if we have a specific campaign that we're running, we could tie that to that, and that way any type of, the, any type of activity that we get from that can be tied to um, attribution on that end. If we want to look at Twitter, that's how it looks. Facebook, this is how it would look. So we could actually change this a little bit. We could change um, the little promo that we want on there. Facebook could be a lot longer, and Facebook's message actually renders uh, into LinkedIn and Google+. So we'll keep Twitter the same if we make any changes here because we know there's only a certain amount of characters in Twitter, but it will make all the other adjustments that we need within LinkedIn as well. So say I wanted to add a line here. Burn. Calendar. Get an ROI. 500%. And I'm just making that up right now. But just to show you how it renders, it will populate what we just typed in, the 500%. But notice how it doesn't in the Twitter. So once we do that LinkedIn portion, you can see up here that there's a little red thing that says one LinkedIn message with an error. So we can add groups on here, and once we add groups, it allows us to edit that. But it will always show that error until we add a title. <clears throat> now you can see that error has gone away. Once we do that, we actually want to look at how we can schedule it, whether we schedule it tomorrow or way out. Um, these little blue dots will show us what, what days we have things scheduled already. We can post it now. We can also attach things to it. This is a great feature. I love, I love doing this, this stuff in, in HubSpot. And then we schedule it. Once you schedule it, it, it will schedule. So if you post now, it's going to post it right then. But if you, if you wait, and you have it at a later date, um, it will continue to do that and then you can go in and cancel it later. And once you do that, it will actually show up. I want to discard that because I'm not going to do it live. It will actually show up here in your publishing. And you can come in here and make these edits before you publish, before the date and time that it's published, um, anytime before that date and time. You can come in here and do that. The other cool feature about the social media portion and the monitoring portion is if you want to look at the monitoring. If you wanted to look at how things are performing, what things got um, 
really great reviews, how many followers. That can all be done in this portion of the tool. You can create a report. Pair of platforms, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, which one's performing the best. Come back into the monitoring portion, you can look at competitors that you can add in there. I'm not going to do that right now. Influencers of marketing, because that's obviously a realm that we're in. That we either want to follow, that we could go after, and so on. Also shows you the inbox. You look at the inbox of everything that we get, and so on. So that's the social media portion and the monitoring por publishing portion of, of the HubSpot marketing tool. Um, highly recommend using it and using it religiously. Social media is a very important medium to use and channel to use within your marketing. And it's one that we recommend being at one of the tops of your list, obviously depending on your industry and, and, and market. But it works really well for us, and so that's how we publish our social media through HubSpot. Thanks again for watching.